welcome to Milan. We're here for the men's autumn winter fashion shows. We've been shooting all over the city um, and gathering stories for Wish magazine, most of which will appear later in the year, much closer to when the clothes are actually in store. In the meantime, we thought we'd give you a bit of a sneak peek at what we thought were our key trends from the fashion shows and give you a glimpse into what men will be wearing this winter. It might not be to everyone's liking and it's certainly not something that's needed in Australia for our climate, but fur was everywhere at the Milan shows this season. There was mink, rabbit, fox, astrakhan, you name it. It was in full coats and on trim details as well. Gucci actually showed a full length coat in what it's calling shaved beaver, which sort of looked like corduroy from a distance rather than obviously fur. Shearling was big again this season and there were some great versions of Burberry, Ferragamo and even a Giorgio Armani, who you wouldn't normally think of for using fur. Still on the use of animals, leather was also everywhere in Milan. At Bottega Veneta, for example, black and brown leather was used in the same outfit and as at Emporio Armani, the leather was washed and treated to give it an aged look. It wasn't all about animal skins, however. This is Milan, after all, so you can always expect some sophisticated tailoring. At Xenia, Canali and Giorgio Armani, there was a return to sort of 1950s-style tailoring. Canali showed a terrific double-breasted suit that was very slim cut with slim pants, which was sort of unusual for Canali. Gucci, on the other hand, broke away from the trend of slim pants and we saw a return to sort of wide leg 1970s style trousers. A mini trend we saw was the big boxy jacket. We saw this at Prada and at Zizania and at Burberry as well. And what's interesting about the Prada collection was the use of the three button jacket instead of the two button jacket which has sort of dominated for the last couple of years. There was a nice use of bright colour in a lot of the collections this season which was mixed with sort of darker colours like grey and, and black and so on. Burberry showed some great plaid coats which again were a very boxy silhouette. There was a plaid coat in red, one in yellow and one in blue. Burberry also showed some bright coats in bright orange and, and, and yellows and reds and it was a really terrific collection. Bottega Veneta also used bright colours as did Jill Sander. And then there was not so bright colours such as we saw at Gucci and at Prada where the colours were more muted but they were used in interesting combinations. Accessories are becoming increasingly important to menswear and as if to drive home that point, the bags in Milan were nothing short of big. From designers such as Gucci, Prada and Burberry, we saw really big accessories, particularly bags. So there you have it, you know what to wear next winter. For more on men's fashion, see this week's Wish magazine with the Australian newspaper.